I'm making soup for dinner. Your friends are welcome to eat with us. Sounds good. Dinner at six then? Sure thing. They'll be home for dinner. Where is everyone else?
got peacekeepers coming. Let's take him. Stay down there. We'll do the cover if anything goes down. We'll do anything until I'm back. Wait! I want to come with you. In May of 2009, I deployed to Mosul, Iraq. A few days after we arrived, a corporal in my company was killed in action in Tikrit. It made us feel like we had a reason to be there. We wanted blood. But it wasn't until about six months later when I was back stateside that I finally heard the full story of his death. Our company commander called us together for a formation where he informed us that our corporal's killer had been released after only six months in prison. Everyone was furious. That's the Iraqi justice system for you, our commander said. But all I could think about was another detail of the story that I'd just learned. Our corporal's killer had been a 13-year-old boy with an SKS. Everyone just wanted to vilify and dehumanize him. But all I could think about was that I had a 13-year-old brother. He even had an SKS. I couldn't hate this kid for what he'd done because I knew that if jackbooted foreign invaders kicked in our door in the middle of the night, I hoped my little brother would have the guts to stand up and defend his family. And I'll never forget what my ostensibly Christian company commander said next. That's okay, he began. Because next deployment, we're gonna get revenge when we go to Afghanistan and put all the fucking Muslims to sleep. 